So there was this one day, right? I'm walking down Flatbush Ave and everything like a triangle junction. And there was a little nice thing thing walking down the street. You know? And she was looking all cute and everything with her friends. You know, nice little body and everything. Nice little shape. And, you know, I tried my best to holler at her and everything like that. She gave me a, t she gave me a time of day and everything. Got her number and everything. So, I started talking to her and everything. For like, a, like, like two weeks passed. And then one time, I told her, Yo, I'm going to hit you back up later. I'm about to go to my son. My son crib. And she's like, oh, who your son? I was like, oh, no. no like my, my bro Malik, right? Right? So, my bro Malik. And she's like, oh, where did I know him, right? I ain't paying no more. I probably just know him, blah, blah, blah. But at first, I'm like, first, I'm like, time out. There's like three million Maliks in this world. I'm like, oh, you sure? She's like, yeah. I like, I like, what's his last name? She's like, Forster. It's like, wow. You know, whatever. I still ain't paying no more. I really didn't care. So, I went to this crib and I was like, yo, you know that girl in Watermelon, Andrea? Son, I fucked her last week. So why do girls feel that there's some type of superior gender in a relationship, feeling that all boys are the same and that men cheat more? Stifling! 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 My point being is that girls always say that men cheat more and that they're the faithful gender in a relationship. All women want is just to cuddle and snuggly and, and just have a happy relationship with a boy. I mean, like, you, you just always, like, they just always put the blame on the dude. Just because we can carry that weight since we all domestic and all that. So y'all feel that, oh, I'm too good for him, even if I'm in a relationship with him. And either do be so faithful to you. And then when he is faithful to you, whatever, you either complain that he's he's annoying you, he too clingy or anything like that. But when you go on some other nigga that don't pay no attention to you, that be fucking other bitches and then stuff with me raw. That rather go to his grandmother house than you and all the other shit, and I get mad whenever. They always say that men that men are just unfaithful ba bastards, but if I don't recall, there's more smut videos of females on Facebook than there are of men. And when these smut videos are all on Facebook, the men are just appreciated as some type of alpha male to their other niggas, which I personally find is just a ridiculously gay. That is just some next level of intimacy and bromance. Which brings up another thing. Yo, like since when i don't understand like girls nowadays getting me pissed off because all of a sudden y'all got morals and shit about oh i don't suck dick no! yet you was in the video the other week sucking dick you rather suck my dick where well, i'm your boyfriend and i'm gonna be with you and you suck my dick or you rather suck some hood nigga dick. Some other nigga dick that just probably been in like 12 other bitches before he met you exactly on camera on, on camera. camera. On Worldstar. On Pornhub. On Facebook. On Facebook. And then people. On Twitter. And then it's going to be a trending topic for like a whole month and everybody got the video on their phone and everything like that. Like, you don't understand how much I got my phone and it's mad bitches up in there. It's ridiculous. And then sometimes it be. That can't be proven. Next scene. <laughs> it can be proven. <laughs> if you want to be classy, I mean, like, uh, classy for me. There's no classy in sucking dick. I'm just saying. Yeah. There's no. no, no this, shut up. There's no classy. There's no classy in sex. Sex is sex. You shed sweat. You might shed a tear or two. The woman and maybe the man. <laughs> so like, it's just like it just it just makes no sense to me. And then y'all y'all complain that y'all don't y'all y'all don't suck dick. Y'all don't do that. Y'all don't fuck every other nigga and everything like that. But you rather fuck some random nigga that you met in a gala's kids party just the other day. Instead of fucking your own boyfriend that you know is safe and there's some other nigga. Exactly. It's almost about to be the epic center of that shit and everything. Like, you see this? I'll wear this for my. I'll wear this for my girlfriend to see. Wish you were here. I'm a faithful dude. I'm not gonna front. I ain't shit. No boy is perfect, honestly. No boy is perfect. Nobody perfect. No girl is perfect. But there is. I, I guess I could say that there is a perfect somebody for that someone. There's somewhere out, somewhere out there, there's a perfect girl for me. Somewhere out there, there's a perfect girl for Jordan. 
even if it's a good relationship, I know I fucked it up, and sometimes I want it back or whatever. But at the end of the day, I realize I can't get that back, so I just learn to move on. The point of this video is, is that girls are not better than men, and men are not better than girls. There is no dominant species. But if you want to talk about physical strength, I don't care what anybody says. Men are stronger. That's how we are engineered. That's how we are designed. That's how we are built. So Man, you have Asian I, girlfriend, you can't say that. There's actually this girl I know that I used to go to school with who actually cheated on her boyfriend with me twice. And they actually still go out to this day. And the guy is actually oblivious to, to the fact that like, every time I see her on Facebook, I'm like, I fucked your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, I mean, I got I got my pleasure out of it, so I really don't care. I do have morals. I would treat, I would, my next girlfriend, I would treat like a queen. I'm not falling for the trap of falling in love, though. But my point is, is that girls, you're no better than boys, and boys are no better than girls. At all.